Folks, today on the Stony Ridge Farm, we're gonna show you how to make water portable and retractable. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. This is a kitty cat with no name yet and he's so tired. Look, he's gonna fall asleep right here in my hands. <laughs> that is one tired kitten. Guys, welcome to the channel. Let me put this kitten down. <laughs> oh, there you go, little buddy. Welcome to the channel today. I have a problem and I have a solution in this box. So if you tune into the channel pretty regularly, you'll know that I'm building some edible landscapes. I'm all about the raised bed now. I'm all about edible landscapes here on the farm because who knows where our food system is gonna take us in this country with our crazy supply problems right now. So what we're gonna be doing today is unboxing and putting together a cool new tool for the front porch here on the Stony Ridge Farm for the edible landscape here on the Stony Ridge. I'll show you the problem that I have. We've got a crappy water hose up here on the porch and we're gonna fix it with this. I had no idea they even made this. So this will be a really fun video for you guys especially if you're trying to feed your family right out of your flower bed like me. Welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm channel. If this is your first time here, this is a first generation 150 acre cattle farm. We're raising cows and chickens and soon we'll have pigs. We're building a big old shop up there and behind the house. We're having all kinds of fun, but we've got to feed ourselves. So we've got to eat high quality food. A lot of folks have asked, I've just lost 80 pounds. And the way I did it was eating good high quality food. Now let's first define my problem. Here's what I've got, an El Cheapo, water hose. This is like a springy type spring loaded water hose. This has been on my front porch and it has the quick disconnects. I'll post a link for these guys uh, in this video too. These are really awesome. However, this hose is not good. It kinks just like that. Every time I go to pull it out there to my raised beds, it kinks and I can't water my stuff. This hose will stretch out to like 60 feet, but good gracious, yeah, what a tangled mess, just a disaster of a mess. The solution is right here in this box. We're gonna open it up for you. So I'm not a big unboxing guy. I don't like to do unboxing videos. This is gonna be an installation video, but it's in a box, so I guess I've gotta unbox it. I ordered this two days ago off of Amazon. It dropped off here and it's gonna be awesome, guys. Just wait, I bet you never knew they made one of these. So I got to thinking, I have these retractable reels in my uh, garage for, gotta be careful here, <laughs> for my air hoses and for my, um, extension cords and I thought you know I wonder if they make these for a water hose and they do and it's in this box right here <laughs> um, this cost right around it was on sale on Amazon and I'll reach out to the company if I can get us a, a coupon code or a discount code I'll get that hooked up um, so this was on Amazon it was regular 149 bucks and it is marked down, I think, to 109 is what it was when I purchased it. So really cool uh, setup right here. This is a hose reel that is retractable. Let me show you real quick. Much like uh, a hose reel that you would uh, use in your garage, like I said. So it just sucks the hose back in. So when I get done using it, I pull it out, it locks into place, and when I get done, I simply release it back into place and that's it. It's got nice brass fittings on the end. Fit and finish wise seems pretty good, pretty tough, pretty robust. And this is gonna go right on my porch and it's designed for outdoor use. So very cool. I've got to figure out how to mount it up to the wall though. So we're gonna mount it right up to the porch. Super simple installation, I guess. So let's get busy and show you guys this thing in action. This looks like it's gonna be pretty simple. 
Uh, we've got some lag bolts, four lag bolts right here. And it looks like you can mount it on masonry. If you had a masonry bit, you could mount it into, uh, into a brick wall or something like that. But what we're gonna mount it up to is just a wood post on the uh, outside of my porch right here. So that should be super simple. It rotates on a swivel. So we put this mount up on the porch and we slide this guy in so we can remove it in the winter time if we want to, which is really, really cool. Let's see, come on, there it is. So it's gonna mount up on this swivel and it actually swivels in the direction that you pull the hose. Really cool. I'm gonna say this extension here is about six feet long. So we're gonna hook it right to the water hose bib on the porch. So first thing you gotta do is kind of mock it up. I'm gonna stick it right over here where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna mount it right there. I'm gonna mock it up and see how it fits. Right here's my mount point. That's what I'm looking for, right there. Boy, it's kind of in the way, but if you tuck it over to the side, it's not really in the way. So you can push it out and I can water plants on that side of the house and on this side of the house. So, hmm, simply put, how high do we mount this thing? And I'm gonna pull my little pin right here and I can set this guy right up to mount right there. So here's the tools that are gonna be required for this. Super, super simple. A pair of pliers and a small drill bit. It doesn't matter what size the drill bit is, as long as it's smaller than your little lag screw. Okay, just like that. Now, I'm gonna pop my drill bit out and we're gonna use, this is a 13 millimeter and I've got a little socket attachment to go on my drill right here. And we're just gonna slip that on and drive that lag bolt in. There we go, nice and tight. This is my little utility hook. This is the most awesome stuff. I'll post a link to it. This is what keeps stink bugs away from my house. That stuff is awesome. This is a Milwaukee. Is it a Milwaukee? Yeah, this is a Milwaukee from Northern Tool. There we go. Now you can mount this to the side of your house, no problem, however you wanna do that. We're gonna lift up, drop our little pin in place. Bam, it's up. That's it, wow. Okay, now there is a little pin that goes down right here. This is called a cotter key. That cotter key slips right in there. Just gonna bend one side of that cotter key right there. And now we have the swivel in place. Now I'm not using it. I'll just tuck it over here out of the way. It's not too cumbersome. It doesn't look like it's gonna be in the way of anything. Very cool, awesome. Now I've gotta install my quick connect. I'll show you that quick connect real quick. We've gotta hook this up to the water hose bib. That's right behind that chair. Give them the final tighten. And this will stay on all summer long, guys. All summer long. You do want to turn it off in the wintertime or you run a risk of busting your uh, hose and or busting your pipe right here. No leak. Very good. All right. Believe it or not, I bought this bench for five bucks and refinished it. Isn't that awesome? It needs refinishing again, though. Let's go ahead and I'll show you the quick disconnect. Now, this comes with a spray nozzle just like this, this little guy here. It's plastic, it's nothing super special. Some we could use until it breaks, it's gonna break. These plastic cheap ones do break. This is the quick disconnect, and this is what I use. This is a wand that I use for watering. I ordered like 15 of these off of Amazon because I knew I'd need them. So we're gonna put the quick disconnect, and this is just like an air hose type quick disconnect, so I can swap implements if I want to. I'll show you. So this is the quick disconnect right here. I'll show you exactly how it works. So this connects to the water hose, just like that. And you wanna make sure it's got that rubber in there also, just as tight as you can get it with your hands. And then we will quick disconnect. This is the uh, male end. We'll just slide that in and that's it. So now when we wanna change out, we put another one of these male ends in our spray nozzle right here. And we can just easily quickly disconnect and change our uh, nozzles, which is really cool. I can't wait to use this, it's gonna be awesome. Well, let's turn it on. Here it goes. <laughs> that scared a kitty. Yahoo, we got water. <laughs> now, let's try it out. We're gonna take it off the porch here and see how it does. I'm gonna shut the water off real quick. Just like so, no leaks, no problems, nothing leaking here, nothing leaking at the wall. And I can pull this out, it's 100 feet. So I simply walk to wherever I want it. I pull, it locks into position. Let's get a little more than I want there. There we go, it locks into position. And now I can water my garden and I don't have a tangled up pinched off hose. Awesome, cool solution guys, nice. So these are my raised beds, 
for my edible landscape here. These are green peppers and they need to be watered every day. When we first plant them, it's been about 90 degrees outside. And then over here, we'll go ahead and get all these watered. Over here is a lettuce garden. So it's half lettuce, half carrots. Carrots are over here where I'm watering now. And the lettuce is right over there. Now up on the porch, way up there, I have tomatoes growing and also a few other plants. All right, <laughs> that's it. That's what we're doing today on the Stony Ridge Farm. Now you see just how easy it is, this retractable water hose. I didn't even know they made these. Now I know and look how easy, let's watch it retract. Awesome, even though it's full of water, just takes it all right back and that's gonna hang right there. Perfect, now I can water the tomato plants on the porch. I've got cherry tomatoes out there and we're actually gonna put some more raised bed edible gardens right here and all over the place around the house, man. It's gonna be super cool so I can walk out in the morning, enjoy the sunshine and water my beautiful garden. Thanks a lot, guys. Please hit that like button on your way out the door here. Subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back here on the Stony Ridge Farm. This isn't all we do, but it's garden season, so we're doing some great gardening content for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna pick yourself up one of these waterers, one of these water hose reels, there'll be a link down the video description to all the stuff that I'm using. The wand, the reels, and the quick disconnect. The quick disconnect is the bee's knees, man. It's awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. I got work to do. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge Bring your wife and bring your kids We're living life pure and sweet That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge Woo! In case you needed some ideas I had no idea at Say idea one more time, Josh That's what you should do Just keep saying idea What are you doing, kitties? You're supposed to be out playing Real kitties do You're supposed to be out playing out playing like kitties do. Little kitty. <laughs>